The phones here had this big white reflection on the screen so you couldn't see anything. So you'll still hear me, but I'll be down here. Which is good because I'm a bit shy, so it's nicer down here. Um, so what you've got here right now, you've got my personal iPhone on the right, which is really confusing because it's on the left here. How did that happen? Okay, on the right, you've got this is my personal iPhone. Uh, and here, this is a stock uh, Google Nexus S running ice cream sandwich, uh, not rooted, straight vanilla install, okay? Um, it's infected. So, if we look on here, there's a very obviously bad looking app. I don't know if you can read the name or not. You can see the Trend Micro logo there. Uh, the app is called Spy Spy Spy. <laughs> It's, a, it's not called the tennis juggling game, but it's called Spice by Spice. But, so that app is installed. Um, but if I look in the settings on the device, you can see that it's been downloaded. Uh, but we've designed it so that actually it looks like there's no app running. And of course with Android, what you can also do is you can tell an app that you don't want it to display an icon uh, once it's been installed. So you could just make it completely invisible if you wanted to. Okay? So it looks like it's not running, it is running. Um, so why, why is that a concern? Well, I've never used an iPhone without actually holding it in my hand. This is kind of confusing. By the way, that pin, I was very clever. I changed it before I gave the presentation. I'll change it back afterwards. Um, I know you're all sitting there going, wow, we know he's pinned now. You don't. All right. Um, so I'm going to just send an SMS from my iPhone. Unfortunately, you can't read them, but you'll see the reaction. So I'm sending an SMS from my iPhone to the Android, and it just says, um, this is your master. OK, so we said this is your master to the Android. Because the app is running, that SMS never appeared on the Android because that app is deleting any SMS that's incoming from the master. What it has just told me is my balance just went down because it sent an SMS reply. This is a pay-as-you-go phone so that we can see when an activity occurs, right? If it was a contract phone, you wouldn't see anything, right? So it just got a reply which you can't read, but the reply says, I'm ready to serve you. Now, I have a, a few functions built into this app which should be very concerning, uh, particularly in an enterprise environment, or uh, if you have a suspicious uh, wife, husband, boyfriend, girlfriend. Uh, it could be used for any of those kind of purposes. Um, so if I send the command, uh, let me get the right down here. we go. So, I knew I'd get fat fingers. I'm really hoping nobody phones me while I'm doing this. So, I send another command to the phone. Obviously, no SMS will appear on the Android because it's deleting any incoming commands, uh, SMSs. But I just say SMS spy enable. So now what's happening on the Android, any incoming SMS is being grabbed and written into storage. If it has an SD card, it'll put it on the SD card. Obviously, with this phone, it's just writing it to the internal storage. I can send another, another command Call spy enable. It's another command that we go in. When a call spy enable is done, then any incoming phone call, it records the microphone side of the phone call and puts it in storage. So great for espionage. I don't have to activate it every time. I just turn on the function, and every incoming call is recorded. Um, I have another very worrying function on there as well. So let me try this one. Um, this command is monitor. I can type without making a mistake. Monitor now, and then a number. So monitor now one, I just sent to the device. Um, so what's that, what that's done immediately is activate the microphone on the Android handset. So for the next one minute, the Android handset is recording everything. So if we're in a, a boardroom meeting and you put your handset on the table, and I know that you're in the meeting, monitor now. 60, I'm going to record one hour's worth of meeting and have all of your corporate secrets. All of that stuff is written to internal storage. Um, 
We put another command in there as well. Amusingly, we called it Big Brother. A big Brother followed by a number. That will activate the video camera for X number of minutes. Big Brother 3, three minutes of video footage. So it's a fully featured, fully functional espionage device. And you might be saying, yeah, that's great and quite funny and quite amusing, but you actually didn't get access to any of that information. It's all still stored on the phone. So it's not that impressive. It makes me raise my eyebrows a bit, but it's not that impressive. So obviously we need a way to access the information that we've stolen. Can I just say, I've never presented on my knees before, <laughs> ever. Okay, so there was one more thing. See, I'll even type it slowly, I don't care. So, I want to get access to that stuff. Make sure I haven't mistyped it. There we go. So, the final command that I sent to the Android handset um, is upload files. So what it does is it takes all of that stolen information, it just sent me another text. I can wipe the sweat from my brow because everything just worked. Um, it took all that stolen information, wrapped it up in a zip file, and uploaded it to send space. And, and the reply that it's just sent me, which unfortunately you can't really see, uh, unless I maybe make it without, no. Uh, it sent me a, an SMS reply with a URL where I could just go and download all of the information that was stolen from the boardroom. So these are the kinds of functionalities that we're already seeing embedded, not just in malicious apps, but you know, some of the other stuff that I mentioned, there was a big report in the Sunday Times in the UK last week uh, where they, they looked into the permissions granted to a lot of these apps. 